903-904. Undecided so far for the Marlins against Mackenzie Gore and the Nats. Uh, the Nats are at minus 167. The Marlins at plus 140. Total of eight and a half flat across the board at minus 110. Kenny, let's start over here with you. I took the Nats double result. I don't care who Miami opened. If they want to bring in one of these can relievers that they have, it's not a great bullpen. Uh, Washington's bullpen, I don't have much higher than Miami, just slightly better. But Mackenzie Gore, I, I know he's gotten shelled a couple of times this year, but I like Mackenzie Gore's stuff. I like how he profiles against Miami. I like Washington's offense much better than Miami's. I'm going to take the Nats double result here at plus 140. Uh, what do you think on this one? Undecided versus Gore. Yeah, uh, I'm with you here. Not knowing who the uh, the Marlins pitcher is, I think makes it just the you know a, a little bit weirder. I was looking online. I, c- I couldn't really find anybody. Um, but I, I I like buying buying Gore in in these spots. I think he's definitely a, a little volatile. Although I think over the last month or so, the, it's been a little more consistent. He had that one bad outing against the Mets, and then short of that, man, he's he's looked great. Yeah. I, I thought about taking a strikeout prop today. Uh, a little bit of juice on the over five and a half. You know, you could probably sell me on the alt case. I, I inevitably I just didn't get there, but uh, we shall see. Uh, quick update here from Joe Everett because uh, they they must have just announced this. Uh, Right. Max Meyer pitching for Miami. I I actually kind of like him long long term. I think I, I do think that he's got some some legit upside and some long term potential enough to sway you out of the Nats double result. I'm not sure, but that's probably the the worst name you could have seen for the unknown pitcher. Right. Max Max Meyer right. can, Max Meyer can shove. It wasn't the one you're you're hoping like Sixto Sanchez is healthy again and he gets to be yeah. you know that's what you're hoping for. <laughs> when you see this, uh, not super in love with that, but uh, I still prefer Mackenzie Gore and I still prefer this Nationals offense. Uh, what does the base runner model say on this one? Well, I think what's interesting, I think there there is an OnlyFans guy. Yeah, I'm not making this up. Maximo Sanchez. I think there is one mm-hmm. guy named that. But how do you uh, know that? I, I, I don't. I, I could be wrong, but I. Th- but I'm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. It. it it's not. I'm thinking. Well, I don't know. I don't know why I'm thinking that. Anyway, this game. Uh, I. I like the Nationals a lot. Uh, I've got it priced at minus two seventeen with Max Meyer. But the thing is, it's like. I, you know, I talked about Maximo Sanchez from OnlyFans. I, I, I can't really, I mean, he's got about as much data on him as Max Meyer does because Max Meyer's been gone for so long. So I think this is a game that you just pass on. It's really disappointing. There's a, I think there's 15 games on the card today. It's a full card, and there's four that don't have lines. And, you know, I was really pissed off about it. Uh, hmm. you, you know, and you're, and guess what? I was going to, I was going to call you Kyle and then I was, uh, I, I'm really pissed off about it. And then I look and it says Corby Craig under your name. And I'm like, that's mm. not Corby. Oh, I'm like, oh, wait. <laughs> You know, and so so that. anyway, anyway, Corby, Kyle, whoever you want to be. I mean, hey, whatever. It's it's mm-hmm. it's it's 2023. If you want to be different guys in different days, that's okay. Um, and so um, it's 2024, but that's okay. 20, yeah, no, I mean, here here you go. Oh, I don't know boy. the math. Base base winner, the math handicapper doesn't even know what year it is. That's great. Oh no. Um, so oh, no. <laughs> we go. So um. There's four games with no lines because you got this pitcher doubt, I guess is the best way to say it. And so, like, I was all bitter about it. But you know what? That's what I would do if I was the manager. I, I would just be like, yeah, I don't know who's pitching. It could be one of five guys. And, and uh, it's really going to suck for handicappers. It does because you want to have a – you want to have 15 games instead of 11. But that's the way of the world here. You know, the Rockies tried to go – Three, a guy pitched three innings, another guy pitched three innings, and they kind of tried to shuffle it around. This must have been maybe about six, seven years ago. It didn't work out, but I always thought that was a brilliant idea. Uh, you know, why, why, with all the video technology, all the advanced data, all the log rhythms, algorithms, all that stuff that these teams are, they're all using them, why even tell them who's going to pitch? Keep them on their toes. Kyle, Corby. <laughs> and we've, had, we've had this debate, and I'm glad you got frustrated by it because now if they're going to take sponsorship dollars from sports betting sites, you damn well better provide the information so we can bet on the game. That's that's just my – I believe that firmly. Uh, I think it's nonsense not to have it up there. And look, if you want to have the competitive edge and not announce your pitchers, then there's no money coming in from the sports books. No more of those stupid commercials in between every single inning. No banners all over your stadium where you're getting paid for it. I think it's complete horseshit uh, when they don't announce it. But that's just me. That's just me. And I'm glad it frustrated you a little bit. But honestly, you said all this information, all the stats. The only thing I really heard and I want to unpack is how you know 
Like, are you browsing different OnlyFans names here? Get that part. He says you're all about the. I'm cu- There's I'm a famous a guy nervous. named Maximo. I honestly don't know his last name, but it could be. It could be Sanchez. I I, I guess it it might be mm-hmm. actually. It could be. I think. Yeah, yeah. Corby got a little bit older, but look, he can grow a beard now. You know what I mean? He's got some. Ch- 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 Corby came a man overnight. Look at this, here. Uh, for purposes of the show, old Corby Craig here in the middle. So can we do this if I lose? Does it go on Corby's record? If I win, it goes on mine. You know, we pull some. Uh, I want to see the graphics that... team pull the pull the switch middle of the show. I'm waiting. It's for gonna that. happen. It's gonna happen. Yeah, but for purposes of the show, I'm gonna back Mackenzie Gore, and I'm gonna take the Nats here. I like the Nats. Nats are one of my favorite teams to back. They just fight for your dollar. I'm gonna take the double result here, at plus one forty. <laughs> 